Before starting this project, I looked at a gazillion images of Starbucks pumpkin spice latte. And this one in particular was interesting because there's a little bit of coffee settlement at the bottom. That will come into play later. I knew I wanted to etch the Starbucks logo or a similar Starbucks logo on my Dollar Tree glass mug. So first I researched on Etsy to find one that I thought would work. I ended up not using the entire portion of it. I just used the girl uh, because when I tried to do it the way it was, it was just, I don't know, too little, too hard to cut and too hard to weed. So here I am finishing up weeding and I'll show you how I apply it to the glass and use Armor Etch to etch the surface. Didn't that etching just turn out adorable? I think it did. And now for kind of like an inside funny joke. I am using um, a box from our coffee that we get. Uh, and I was measuring the little Starbucks label there. I need it to be three and a half inches. And so it was three. So I started out with a half inch off and then I realized, uh-oh, <laughs> no, it's got to be a quarter inch smaller than that. So I started over. What I'm doing here is creating a filler for the inside of the cup so I will not have to uh, use a bunch of product that you'll see in a little bit. So I'm saving product. I think it's pretty self-explanatory, so I'll just let you enjoy some jazz music and watch what I'm doing.
I've watched many, many videos on people, different people making the pumpkin spice latte. And, well, I ended up kind of creating my own combination of products to use for the side of the glass to make it look like the coffee part. I didn't want to just paint it. You can really get streaks with that and it just wouldn't look real. I didn't want to use just the DAP uh, lightweight spackle, which is what that is. But, and the reason is because um, a lot of times with the spackle, even when you stir it a lot, you get a lot of air bubbles. So I am adding some caulk, some white caulk. It could be clear, but anyway, I'm just using white water-based caulk in with the spackle and it gives a lot smoother texture in my opinion. To that I'm going to add some Mod Podge gloss and uh, then my paint and stir it up until it's the color I want. You know it's going to get lighter because of the caulk and the spackling being white. The reason I cut kind of a rounded half styrofoam ball was three reasons. Number one, I didn't have a styrofoam ball. I didn't want to pay two or three dollars for one to cut, so I just kind of made one. The second reason is to not use as much product, and the third reason relates to the cinnamon sticks that I'm going to push in. I want something very stiff, uh, so when I push those cinnamon sticks in, they're going to stay and not push all the whipping cream around a lot. Now to make my whipping cream, again I am using the DAP brand uh, Fast and something. Oh gosh, I'm drawing a blank. Anyway, it's lightweight spackling. Um, it's fairly white in color, but I always add two things. Mod Podge gloss to make it shinier and then also some gloss white paint and stir, stir, stir. Mm -hmm. 